Well, you may remember the great cartoon shows Saturday mornings, the Flintstones, the Jetsons, Yogi Bear. We had a chance to talk to Ron Campbell, the animator, who was also one of the leads in the making of the Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Hi, I'm George for BCTV. I am here with world-renowned animator, art director, and all-around creative guru, Ron Campbell, who's huh. calling in from Arizona. Tell us about um, what you have coming up in Manchester, Ron. Well, we have uh, we have an art show actually of cartoon art, cartoon pop art. Um, after spending 50 years making all kinds of cartoons for little children, I had to retire, and in that retirement, I had to do something. So I decided to do paintings, and here I am with 60 or 70 paintings that I'm uh, uh, exhibiting, and uh, it's an art show and a lot of fun. Uh, bring the family, bring the children. Uh, every, everybody loves the artwork. You know, when I was reading your bio, and you, you were involved with a lot of my favorite cartoons growing up, Scooby-Doo, a lot of the Hanna-Barbera, how did that all begin for you? Well, I guess it began when I was about seven years old, and I watched Tom and Jerry and thought they were real animals. I said, I don't see animals. I've been to the zoo. And my grandmother told me, great-grandmother actually, told me they're just drawings. And it hit me. Drawings? You mean I can do drawings that come alive? And I've had that all my life. And right now, you're promoting, you are one of the animators for the very classic, famous movie, Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. How did that all um, come about for you? Well, uh, a big American company by the name of King Features came to Australia, and I was more or less on the leading edge of animation in Australia. Uh, and uh, they asked me if I would uh, direct the Beatles TV cartoon show. Actually, when Al Brodax called me and asked me, it was in the middle of the night and I answered the telephone wondering who it was. And he said, Ron, we've just sold a new TV show called The Beatles. And we'd like you to direct the episodes we're going to produce in Australia. And Al, Beatles, insects make terrible characters for children's shows. And uh, of course, then I got berated that it was the famous rock and roll group that I had barely heard about at the time. So anyway, um, I uh, directed all the Beatles cartoon uh, films and that TV show had like a 67 share, which is uh, every TV that's turned on, every 100, 67 of them were watching my cartoon. So uh, when I came to America, uh, subsequently, they got into some production trouble in London making the Yellow Submarine and they needed extra help. So I was called in on that. When you were working on Yellow Submarine, did you realize like how huge that movie was going to be and how, how much it was embedded into our culture all these years later? No, uh, not, not effectively. We knew it was going to be a good film because of the design work in it and of course the Beatles music, which was everything. Um, but uh, we did not know at that time that the Beatles were going to live forever, you know, or that the Yellow Submarine would still be watched. Right, and I know back in those days, the process of animating is so much different than they do it now. Oh, very uh, how different. Many, how many years did it take to complete that movie? Oh, just one year. One year. Yeah, from beginning to end, it was just one year. It was a, it was a mass production. That's why they got into some... Um, uh, production difficulty and why I was called in. So what is the process back then, back in the 60s to animate? You actually had to hand draw everything, where today everything's done on a computer. Sure, uh, you, you, you used a pencil to do the animation and then it went into the ink and paint process and backgrounds were uh, painted separately and it was all put under the camera frame by frame. So Ron, you've had an amazing career looking back what are some of the things that you're most proud of? Gosh, most proud of? Golly, um, the Beatles stuff, of course. My own show, The Big Blue Marble, which we won a Peabody with that, and an uh, Emmy and a couple of other things. Um, so I have to say my own TV show. But of course, I'm proud of the work I did on the Smurfs for 10 years and Rugrats for 10 years, and uh, uh, the Flintstones and Jetsons and blah, 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 blah. I liked them all. I didn't work for very long on a show I didn't like very much. You know, I had a couple of dogs, you know, but you know, that's life. That's showbiz, as they say, right? Yeah, that's it, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
If yeah. people are we interested have, in seeing some of your work, they can go to Custom Framing Solutions on Hanover Street in Manchester. You're gonna be there from December 4th to December 6th. And if people want more information, they can go to BeatlesCartoonArtShow.com. And we are really looking forward to seeing some of your work. You've done amazing things in your career. So what is next for you? Um, uh, well, next is meeting my maker. I'm 81 <laughs> years old now, um, and, but between now and then, I will be doing shows all around America and uh, meeting the, uh, the fans of the cartoons I helped make. Well, uh, Ron, I want to thank you so much for talking to us on Zoom. And um, once again, if people want more information, uh, he, you can go to the website. It's Beatles cartoonartshow.com he's going to be in manchester from december 4th to december 6th so thank you so much for talking to us stay creative and um i appreciate you taking the time to talk to bctv here today it really was my pleasure george thank you thank you